poo keko in someone's backyard. <laughs> Kia ora internet and nā mai ki Rotorua. I, we got in very late last night and um, yeah it was a, a very late night because we took too long along the way. <laughs> I've come out for a wee run this morning. Um, oh, I'm feeling unfit. <laughs> But I found this little wee park area, which I thought I'll have a wander around and then I'll run back to where we're staying. day but we're not going to let that stop us because we're in Rotorua and we're at the Redwoods tree walk. Tree walk? Tree top walk. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway we get to walk among the tree tops. That was such an amazing experience and so much fun. Definitely recommend it if you ever in Rotorua. Rotorua? And we're at Whakarewa 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 I can't do R's and W's together. And we're in Whakarewa Rewa. I can't get my mouth around those W's and R's. <laughs> which is one of the thermal parks here and we're going to go and have a look after lunch <laughs> Open mud. well it's a lot wetter than when we started the rain has really set in now even in the rain it was like it was just really nice, so many beautiful views and the hot steam was quite nice on a cold day. <laughs> the weather got so bad yesterday that we gave up and went back to the place we're staying and played board games for the rest of the day because it was just too wet to do anything. But today the weather has improved and we're going to make the most of it so we're just having a quick stop at the supermarket to pick up some picnic supplies and then we're heading out for more adventures. This is Tikitapu or the Blue Lake and shortly when we get to that point over in the horizon I think I think we're going to find out why this one's called the Blue Lake. The gravel on this beachfront is in very clear layers you can see the various eruptions. And this is all pumice. Very, very light. We have met a beautiful cat called Edpa. <laughs> My sister has two cats, so yeah. I like, so they're my, they're my, my, I call, I call them my furblings or something. Furblings? <laughs> oh no, that's the, the catlings. Oh, catlings. Okay. Furblings is better, you should call them furblings. Furblings cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So 
here's Tiki Tapu and over there is where we just were that's the blue lake and then if we turn around this way that one is Roto Kakahi and that is the Green Lake and there are lots of interesting facts about these lakes that we are not just reading immediately off the sign so Green Lake is green because it has a sandy bottom and Blue Lake is turquoise blue from above because of the reflection from the white rhyolite and pumice bottom and possibly my favourite fact is that Lake Tikitapu, which is Blue Lake, doesn't have a surface outlet, so it probably drains via underground to Lake Roto Kākahi, which is the Green Lake. So this one does have an outlet. It flows down to Lake Tarawera, which we are heading in that direction shortly. And the thing I found really interesting is this lake is Tapu, which means sacred, so you're not allowed to swim in it, but you can swim in Blue Lake. So the reason this one is called Tikitapu is because a chief's daughter? Yes. Yeah. A chief's daughter lost her greenstone pendant, which is a tiki, so Tikitapu, a sacred greenstone pendant, but the lake isn't Tapu. This lake is Tapu because maybe because yeah we don't know for sure yes well it's it's tapu and possibly it is tapu because the name is roto kakahi which is the lake of the shellfish so generally food gathering places are tapu so we're guessing that's why this one is probably tapu <laughs> to visit somewhere that I learned about in primary school and have never been which is the village that was buried by the explosion of Tarawera or at least we would visit it except for this is Tuesday so we'll be back tomorrow <laughs> somewhere in the Wairaki Valley but um, yeah we got lost but at the end of the trail we found a nature walk with more thermal stuff and a lot of animals The singing cliffs. Where's the cat? It was cat. Hello, chicken. Hi. Everyone's coming for a look at my camera. Coming to see me. Look at you. Babies, there's babies. Oh. <laughs> My dad's on. Babies, there's babies. Oh, look at you. You're a very fancy boy. Have you a spelling boy B O Y in your Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. 
think he's going into the cafe. Why not? And the llamas. Hello, Mr. Llama. I know you spit, so I don't actually want to be too close to you. <laughs> and we have a menagerie. <laughs> Do you feel like St. Francis? I have friends. <laughs> I have so many friends. And all they want is just a small bit of food. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got another friend. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hi. Hi, handsome. Hello! Oh, you're so beautiful! You're all so beautiful! <laughs> this is yes. a kuni kuni pig which is more native to New Zealand than many of our other species of pig Yes, yeah, it's not native but it came over with the Māori Yeah, so it's been here for at least a thousand years and he came from the island somewhere Hello. Oh. This place is just teeming with animals. <laughs> and they all want to be our friends. Especially you. You want to be my friend, don't you? You haven't bought me any treats. I'm afraid. Oh well, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Our last full day in Rotorua and the weather's looking like it's going to pack in again this afternoon so we've spent the morning trying to fit as much in as we can before it starts properly raining. It was actually quite sunny for a while but it's starting to rain again now. So this morning we went to the buried village of Tawairoa and this afternoon we're going to try and fit in as much as we can before this rain gets heavy. I think I'm going to go into shelter now. <laughs> those clouds is Tarawera. You can just see the edge of it. And there's the volcano that did it all. It was impressive looking like a few minutes earlier when we were on a bit of road we couldn't stop on and you could see the whole top of the volcano and it looked very volcanic but it's still a volcano. I think this is what you call changeable weather.
that was such a lovely way to spend our last day in Rotorua. Rotorua and Taupo. We seem to spend more time in Taupo than we have in Rotorua. So tomorrow we head south a little bit. We're not going all the way home yet. Don't forget to do all those nice internet -y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Ka kite ano, internet. Thank you.